Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Steven Universe review. In this episode, we'll be talking about Laser Light Cannon. So in the last episode, Jim Glow, I was kinda negative about th that episode, right? I felt like, well, it did do characterization good, everything else was kinda, eh? But, in comparison, I like this one. I think this one does a lot of stuff right. It doesn't do, like, the characters as well, but it does the world building. And it even does do good for some of the characters. It does all that better. And to be honest, this honestly seems like a better first episode than Jim Glow. And I even do know some people who thought this was the first episode. So yeah, that makes complete sense. So let's just get right into this. So the episode starts off, Steven and Amethyst are at the fry shack. Because of course he wants the bits. Bits, bits, bits. So they get the bits and then they're walking back. And there's like, oh, the two suns in the sky. And it's like, two suns, it's appeared, right? It The red eye. Which, okay, Amethyst says, oh, it's appeared, right? Another one. Which lets me to believe, this isn't the first time this has happened. At least, and, uh, like, this happens more than you'd think. If Amethyst knows about it? So, yeah, that's just, that's just my guess. So that makes sense. So we get to see the red eye. And I like this thing, because it does. It's like this giant ball of light. Well, not light. It's probably mechanical. But it looks... I like the design of this thing. I think it's pretty cool. So we see all the crystal gems, right? They're, they're looking at it through a telescope. And because they, they can't destroy it, because they, they don't have the power. They need the laser light cannon to destroy it. So I love their solution, because they don't know where the cannon is, because Rose lost it, right? Rose didn't have it after she died, and she never told them where it was. I love, they're just, their solution is just to throw Amethyst at it. That, that was funny. That's solid. And they just, multiple times throughout the episode, we keep seeing her, them throw Amethyst. So Steven suggests that, oh, maybe his dad has it. Which, right off the bat, we learn, the gyms don't like Greg. And the way they talk about Greg does make me believe that, yeah, just right off the bat, they're straight up telling us, they do kind of blame Greg for losing Rose. <laughs> it's not very it's kind of subtle but yeah that's you there's a lot you can imply and we also just from seeing greg he slept in all day he's all lost he doesn't deal with the magic stuff we get a good sense of greg's character i mean like even if we don't see much of the gyms we still get some of the some of the characterization it's still here and so greg's right he sees the red eye and he's like oh i don't deal with magic stuff the gyms told me not to deal with magic stuff so, but he says he may know where the light cannon is, is over at his storage unit. So they head to the storage unit. <laughs> Steven with the sock in the light. Oh, that's adorable. It really is. So Steven goes and heads into the, the storage unit. I like that line. Oh, it's like a dad museum. They find all sorts of stuff. References. Oh, he has a, he has a helmet, a sword, a Mario mushroom, traffic cone, Okay, it's just kind of like he just stored everything in there. Steven cracks a picture of his mother, and we learn, okay, and this tells us all about his mother. Everything we need to know. She came to Greg's concert, they fell in love, and she sacrificed her physical form for Steven. Tells us everything we need to know about Rose early on. It really does, and it's done really well. So Steven's going through the storage locker, and he finds the laser light cannon in the very back. They He ties the electrical cord to it. They pull it out, and they pull out the entire storage unit with it. There, that, there is some good, again, there's some good comedy in this one. There really is. And so they're like, okay, what do we do now? Well, we have to get the laser light cannon to the gyms. So they take it, they tie it, they put it in a wagon, but the wagon instantly breaks. And then they go, and they start, dri they start driving towards the beach. And S Steven finds one of Greg's al uh, Greg's album, the Let Me Drive My Van Into Your Heart. <laughs> oh, God. And then he's just, like, smiling, shaking, bouncing up and down. I like the song. This really does get an, give you... Because this is the song, right? The first song in the show. And it does kind of give you, like, a feel for, like, the music in the show. But, like, how there will be music in the show... It really does sum up a good chunk of the show in just this one episode. I do think it does a better job at being the first episode than Jim Glow. So they take the cannon to the beach. The, the gyms are actively surprised that Greg has it, but they can't figure out how to activate it. And then, of course, it, throughout this entire thing, it's, if every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. That activates the cannon. They're able to shoot it out. I like when they shoot out the cannon, the design you see... 
the figure in the cannon as it's shooting out. It turns into a rose. They blow up, and they're able to blow up the red eye, which that thing is pretty big when, when like, as it gets closer, yeah. And we we know from later on that the red eye is look, came to Earth to look for gems, to see if gems are still alive on the planet. But my question is, why would it be crashing down into Earth? I mean, like, as it gets closer, its gravity does start to affect the planet. But they said it would crash into the Earth. So that's what kind of confuses me. Like, why would it need to crash into the Earth? What would it have done? And then, right, so they blow up a big chunk of the boardwalk. And the episode just kind of ends with, yeah, well, we did it. Good for us. We saved Beach City for the most part. Again, I like this episode better than the first, than Jim Glow. I think it does a lot of stuff really well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace.